My name is Tony Milford. I'm from Fort Defiance, of course. You're here at my house right now. This is my home. And these are my dogs. A lazy day. Right now, I just wanted to show you the uh, land that we have in our area and um, some projects that I'm looking forward to uh, building. So, follow me. One of the areas here where I live, I want, I'd like to build a Hogan just in this area. Uh, we have a lot of visitors from out of the country who come and visit and stay with us here at my home and they always talk about the holistic view of Navajo life. So one thing I'd like to do is provide a place for them to more or less relax Navajo style where they could sleep on the ground and um, just live out among the uh, foliage here. <laughs> they can stay with the dogs so it'll, you know that's, that's Navajo style. To would be you, one with nature. How about you? Would you like to live in a Hogan town? Sure, I wouldn't mind. I think, um, well, my, my grandparents, they, that's how they grew up. And I don't think we'd be as strong if it wasn't for them, you know? Having to sleep on the ground. Um, and the doorways of a Hogan, you know, they, they usually leave them open. Or they were built traditionally open just with a, uh, a, a rug covering the doorway so you can imagine how the winters must have been. My mother does own land and she is originally from a community close to here which is called Coal Mine. It's one of the first coal mine establishments around this area. The town there is approximately about seven miles from here and the land that we have there in size is about 15 to 20 acres and it's in jeopardy right now because the land is not being utilized uh, sufficiently uh, by our family on my mother's side to give us the right to own the property. So that's one focus on my mother's side to take care of right now and one, one of the issues that I'm handling right now. So what does it take to utilize the property? To manage the property you either have to have livestock, some type of livestock, whether it be horses, sheep, cattle, um, for grazing purposes to help manage the land or just to grow crops to cultivate it either whether it be corn, squash, uh, fruit trees the land needs to be utilized in that manner so that uh, a person can set up a homestead and live on that property. Leases range from uh, I think 75 to 100 years depending on the generations of a family when is the lease in your property up? The lease for this space here where I have basically for my homestead here uh, extends up. It's probably about five or six acres is uh, up for me in another 75 years. So I have 75 years to utilize this land um, to my needs. Do you pay any p type of property tax on the land? Uh, not at the moment, no. Um, being a sovereign nation, the Navajo Nation carries no uh, type of excise tax or property tax. Uh, what we do pay is a lease to maintain the land. And that's agreed upon uh, by our treaty uh, in 1868 with the federal government. My parents and grandparents do still practice the um, Navajo culture. And it's still part of our life, especially mines. We sometimes base our life on it. We use the ceremonies for different purposes. And my grandma still practiced the getting up early in the morning, praying early in the morning. What about your parents? No. no. <laughs> what about you? No. <laughs> our generation. There is a decline in our traditional ways. I mean, there's a lack of Navajo speech and everything. At the moment, we're just more concerned either about our daily lives in school or our reputation or something. But um, that's the way I see it with my parents and myself. Because, like, with them, they They've told me themselves, you know, that they kind of were embarrassed of their tradition and their culture, 
like during their adolescent years. You're talking about learning now how we're speaking now. Yeah. And Which of you speaks now? One, two. Cool. Cool. <laughs> it is dying out when each generation. But I think what people are doing now is they're trying to bring it back. The family is very honored and touched very deeply. So many friends and relatives, family members that came out to shake this young man's hand to say thank you.